All right, YouTube, well, here we go again. I'm having some good wind this winter. We are hitting there at about 15 miles an hour. We'll go downstairs and show you what we're getting on the meters. I'm actually uh, charging my battery with it right now, and uh, I've got my battery. Wow, it looks like it's going backwards. It is cranking. Um, I'm actually charging my battery right now with this thing. If you look at the cups there. Even that looks like it's in slow motion. Jeez, it is going so fast. We'll go downstairs. I'll show you what we're doing. All right, now we're uh, actually looking at my trimetrics, which is I'm um, just monitoring the um, the wind coming in and coming uh, in and out of the batteries, basically. So you're looking at um, there's a draw of about 10 watts. So there's a hundred and you saw about 117 watts there. It was really about 127 because I got a 10 watt draw. But we've been hitting consistent wind. Um, in fact, uh, my battery bank was at 90% this morning. It's at 97. It's probably even closer to 100. It takes a little while for these to kind of recalibrate and re-register. That's just showing 90% full, my battery bank. That's my voltage right now. In fact, my voltage is... It must be, it's in divert mode right now. As my thing set at 14.4, my charge controller, so it goes into a divert. Then it dumps into um, a plug-in grid tie inverter for the wind. In fact, that's where it is. So let me go downstairs, I'll show you. We're in uh, control central here. So this is, uh, there, you see my wind controller to in divert mode? So it's dumping into this grid tie, and there's the watts that are coming from the wind. This is dumping just the wind. That's 123 watts there. It's not dumping off my battery. I actually rewired my charge controller. Um, I think I showed another video. I have, uh, there's 150 watts. Whoa, 176 watts. Let's see what kind of wind we just hit there. 19, whoops, turn on the light there. Ah. It was actually 19 miles an hour. That's the wind. That's your average last two minutes, 15 miles an hour. Well, we hit 21. Oh, I just missed it. It's about a one and a half second delay. Anyway, we'll see this cranking up here in a second. So these are just the watts that are being dumped because it's uh, my my charge controller's in divert mode. It just went off of divert mode, so now those uh, watts are going into the battery, charging my battery bank down here. I've got uh, about six these deep cycle 232 amp hours a, p a piece um anyway <laughs> lost my train of thought so here we go again in dump mode it's dumping into the plug-in and there's our watts you saw 180 there and um so anyway before i had this wired um the charge controller so that when it dumped it would it was actually dumping not only the uh incoming um uh, power from the the wind generator, but <clears throat> it was also dumping off my battery. So I rewired that. So now when it goes into dump mode, it's just dumping into the uh, plug-in grid tie inverter um, the uh, watts itself from the wind turbine and nothing more. So I'll kind of show you here back. Um, this is my uh, my this controls my wind. This controls my solar. So my solar's right now just in grid tie, and this is just my um, small little. Three watt, I mean three panel, uh, 335 watt panel. It's late in the day, very late in the day. So these are only kicking 120 watts. These little three panels. I have an end phase system that that uh, does all my big panels. But anyway, um, the wind here, it's in position. I can go two and just go. In fact, I'll do that right now. Position two will take my wind, put it right into this plug-in grid tie. And then it'll, you'll see the watts register when it starts blowing here. Um, and here we go. Let that kick up. It's been, it's been pretty solid today. I would probably say I put in at least, I would say one and a half kilowatts today. It's been about six hours, eight hours of that so far. Um, but anyway, so let me pack up what I was saying earlier. So I've got 200 watts. Wow. What kind of wind was that? That was an 18. Actually, that was a 21. 
21 mile an hour, 232. You saw the watts there. God, geez, I'm getting good watts. But anyway, let me get back to what I was saying. So I've got this set up, so I'm going to put it in position one. This will take my wind and go right through this charge controller, charge my battery bank. Um, when this uh, microprocessor reads that it's 14.4 uh, volts, it's going to divert and it's going to um, dump those into the grid tie and then into here, which it's doing right now. It's dumping. You'll see as soon as it goes off of divert mode, the watts here are going to vanish right now. And now they're going to the battery. But what I've done here is this wind, here's your positive in from the wind. It goes through this normally um, closed contact and it continues through and charges the batteries right to the positive lead of the battery bank so it's going through a normally closed contact when this microprocessor registers the voltage at 14.4 in the battery bank it does what it's doing right now it opens this contact so the, the nothing can go through here and then it just goes through it just gets ricocheted right back the circuit goes right back through here through the divert mode and then into the grid tie inverter the reason why I hooked it up that way was this way I'm not going to also dump when it goes into divert mode the batteries and the, the incoming wind. This contact is going to open so the circuit's broken and that wind can't, it just cuts it off so it's not going to drain the batteries either so the batteries won't come through, the battery juice won't come through here and also divert with the, with the wind, just the new wind. So this sucker opens up and then it stops and it can only go one way through this little jumper through the relay contact and then into the grid tie. Hope that makes sense. So anyway, this thing's just going into divert mode because my as you saw upstairs, my batteries are at uh, 97%. Once a gust hits, it kicks up that voltage and then it diverts it.